and welcome back to my What's in My Op series. Today, we are going to show you what's on my tray. Now, I work in two different offices, so it kind of slightly differs both offices, like the tray is different in one office from the other. So I'm showing you today's office tray, and I'll kind of let you know what I have on my other tray. So there's some things that I like more on one and more on the other, so I'll just show you my perfect tray. So it always starts with, I have my bib on top, even though I should, this is something I should start doing, is putting the patient glasses on the top because I've, I've heard people do that and then you never forget to give them their patient safety glasses. You know, I just have mine like over there like by the counter, but it probably should be right on your tray. So that's a tip right off the bat. What's on my tray now? I have, so the two main things that everyone has on their tray, a mirror, bag separately because it gets all scuffed, and a basic setup, basic hygiene setup show you all about those in a second. What I additionally have is my special probe, which you would have, I talked about it in my video last week. Because the probes they have in here, I'll show you. I'm not into it, so I have my special probe, and then my ultrasonic tip. I also have an air water syringe tip, a salavi ejector, and a profi cup. <laughs> so let's show you a little more. There's something, where's my gauze? I usually have gauze too. There's my gauze. Okay, and then I also have gauze. Okay, so gauze. So the one thing you probably noticed that I'm missing is floss. I know. I like when floss is on the tray. It's just here we don't do that. In my other office, we do put a strand of floss on the tray. Here we don't. I get my own floss, which is like not a big deal, but I always forget and then I end up having to change my gloves, you know, because they're not pre made on the tray. So that's something I think is great to have on the tray the floss. So you don't have to change your gloves, put floss on it. I have my floss in my little cubby over there. So. Floss would be a good addition. I don't put any cotton rolls. There's some patients I know need a cotton roll on their lower anteriors, you know, and put it right in there if they have a really strong lip, you know, so then you could like suction better. You put it right in there, you know what I'm talking about? I sometimes have a cotton roll for them, but I don't want to waste that. There's only a few patients that need that, so I don't put them on my tray all the time. All right, let me just talk to you about the probe really quick. This is not sponsored. I'm just telling, I don't even know who makes these first probes. I'm not bashing or, or pleasing, I'm just, telling you. I'm not into this probe. There's nothing I like about it. I understand that some dentists might like this probe, but I can't even read it, honestly. I, it's First of all, it gets sterilized so much so the plastic like is going away. I am not being rude about it. I know some people love this. I just don't. The one I love is a metal probe that shows me every single tick mark so I know every single millimeter and I just feel so precise and exact and so these are the probes I like to use. Just, just me, just me, and that's what I learned in school, so that probably, you know how you just love what you learn. I showed you the mirrors by itself, I showed you the tips by itself. A few things that I need in my kit, so the probe, we already talked about that. All right, I need that, but I, I, we already talked about that. So I have four things I need in my kit, other than the mirror, because that's by itself. I need an explorer, I need an anterior scaler, I need a posterior scaler, and I need a curette. And then I feel really happy, that's all I need. I have my Gracie's and stuff in the sterilization, you know, in the drawers, so if I need Gracie's for like SRPs and stuff, I just grab them. I don't have them in every single um, pack. So it's just kind of a hygiene pack, pretty easy. My probe's up in here though, he's by himself by his lonesome. I, I need a hand piece, that's already here. I know this is kind of going off the tray, but I'm just telling you everything I need to like work. Uh, a hand piece I like to polish. I'm, haven't gotten into air polishing yet, super willing. Would love to get into it, just haven't gotten into it yet. And I have my, you know, ultrasonic. Oh, so over here, when I first get, you know, the room ready in front of the patients, you know, I put my like slide ejector on. And like I said, this guy's already kind of here. So this, you know, this is something new too. I never used a high speed. I'm just gonna be honest. I never used, we didn't learn it in school to use a high speed when you're doing using the ultrasonic. So. That was a bummer because I've learned now that you are supposed to use this whenever there's like a bunch of stuff in the air. So I try to use this now as much as I can when I'm, you know, scaling away with my ultrasonic. But it's hard. It takes getting used to. But once you get used to it, you just feel better. You're keeping yourself healthier. Everyone's healthier. There's less particles in there. And, uh, like I said, my floss is over here. This is the floss that I have to remove my gloves, take a piece of floss, put it on. If they were just on the trays originally, then you wouldn't have to remove and all that, but it's fine, it's little things. I try to do, I try to get the floss when I'm getting them their profi paste, so then it's less glove removals on and off. One other thing in my app that I love is I have a intraoral camera, so I have the sleeves over there in my little cubby too. 
And I think that's really it in my app. We have two size two sensors and one size one sensor, and that kind of like rotates, like the hygienist share one and the dentist. Uh, and but we all have our own lead apron. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to like run around to find the lead apron. You only have to run around to find the sensor itself. So thank you all for watching. See you all next week when I show you the last part of this little series. And that is my sterilization organization in the sterilization room. So see you then. Peace, love, and teeth.